And now, it's time for Guys Talk Knives. <laughs> Are you trying to see exactly how many ways you can say that? I Pretty much. Okay, well, that's good. I'm Andy. I'm Jason. This is Guys Talk Knives. You're probably pretty familiar with the format of how this goes. Yeah. We waste like 10 minutes talking about nothing. Well, <laughs> it's n- the first 10 minutes is knife adjacent. Uh, you know, this is the second of the two episodes we filmed today, yes. right? And we just got off our soapboxes, and I am so ready to do something that's fun. <laughs> See, I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the discussion of that I'm one. I'm not going to lie. But, I enjoyed it, too. But for sure, this may be as lighthearted an episode. I, I don't have to be angry this time. As you could ever do. Right. The only thing that would make this more lighthearted is if it was novelty frozen treats. Novelty frozen treats. Instead of novelty knives. Then we'd be like having brain freeze repeatedly right here in camera. Push pops. Old Flintstone orange push pop. That was always my go-to. So in case you haven't figured it out, <laughs> this is the episode all about novelty knives. I, I had something funny that was... No, it just said... Oh, what a novelty. This is the episode entitled, What a Novelty. The lamest segue <laughs> to a t- <laughs> And he's the one who writes the titles. Just so everybody hey, knows, I and am he proud never of can remember. I am well, proud of you them. You forget know, them. Stuff like Mohunk and Chunk of Steel. That's right. Uh, stuff it in your face. Have we used Jumpin' Ain't Easy yet? We have not. Okay, well, we that's an episode need soon. To do jumping ain't easy. Y'all. And just have knives that are jumped out the yin yang. So, okay, let's let's jump into this a little bit. We're not going to get into these over here yet. But gotcha. here's what I want to say: there are serious knives. There are serious tools. <laughs> yes. There are knives that you must have if you're going to go do this thing. Certainly. There are knives that are fantastic and great and unbelievable. Uh, different features on them. These are not them. <laughs> then there are knives <laughs> that are fun. That are fun, and you buy for somebody who collects, or somebody who collects something that's on that knife, or just you, because. Or you just want to give them something ridiculous. That's true. Yeah. No. No. I, I have done that for so sure. many times. Every year at my house, at, at my parents' house for Christmas, we're all grown now. Even the grandkids are all grown. I think Preston just uh, just graduated high school, so they're all cool. adult kids. We started doing the thing where you, it's not Secret Santa, it's where you... Dirty Santa? Dirty Santa, yeah. right? Where you bring in something crazy or ridiculous, and it's wrapped up, and you pick, and you can trade, and do all of that. Sure. You should watch how these kids, and I call them kids because they are teenagers <laughs> well, still, basically, to you, sure, my yeah. daughter and the other stuff, how they just... I mean, they want to hold on to that crazy knife that I brought in. <laughs> they know it's coming. I mean, I've done swords. I've done sure. machetes. I've done, I mean, and they're like, oh, no, this is mine. But they're going to fit whatever your price point was for that Dirty Santa. Yes, it and is. And they're always interesting. And uh-huh. somebody's like, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I the most it. interesting thing I've ever seen. Or sometimes it also ties into the nostalgia of your youth. Mm-hmm. And you're like, uh, I really, I really kind of dig that. And I want yeah. that. No. I, our, our Roy Rogers line. Yes. My father was a huge Roy Rogers fan. Right. I really don't enjoy <laughs> Roy oh, Rogers that goodness, much. No. But uh, it's not our generation. Exactly. We well, weren't. But we the Lone Ranger young. wasn't either. And I dig a Lone Ranger now as we do. That's because you're a nerd. The Lone Ranger was amazing. <laughs> I hope silver. silver. He apparently killed werewolves in the Old West with silver bullets and. <laughs> no, Tonto. I said posse. <laughs> <laughs> John is laughing from the control room. Let us I, write I, it down for a note. <laughs> I still like the old joke about the Lone Ranger many years after Tonto's death, finding out the Kimosabe meant one who gets lost or something like that. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So let's try to define novelty. What makes a novelty knife? Because that's what we're going to look at today. What makes a novelty knife in your well, opinion? Um, to me, it would be either that the shape and style makes it a novelty. Mm-hmm. Or that whatever's on the handle, whatever's uh, emblazoned on the knife, right, has some type of of different appeal than just a, a tool you would use or carry, right. I, but I don't know that that even is an accurate description. No, I'm mean, thinking it's different from a commemorative, right? I mean, oh, oh no, oh, yeah, so yes. it's more like a tchotchke than a commemorative. I think that's a good way to put it, right? So it is yeah. it, it, rather than you know, you'd have a great commemorative knife, a Vietnam era knife. Sure, it is, it is dedicated to those fallen soldiers. Yes, and that is a commemorative knife, right? Okay, it's meant to honor these soldiers. Yes. Then you have a tchotchke knife that when you went to the 1982 World's Fair, it, it says yes. 1982 World's yes. Fair right on the side, and yeah. it's just a little knife. And I think there was a time in this country when more people carried knives and used knives in their pocket than sure. they do today. And there were a lot of things like this little Coca-Cola exactly. knife that, that people gave you for free. 
Can you imagine well, they Coke put it doing in a that now? Oh, yeah. I mean, for real, right? <laughs> the the Coca Cola company putting out a a knife for people to to buy in the store or to get free or to win free. I just can't see that happening. <laughs> well, we carry one, yeah, so we I, and that's got to be licensed somehow. I would guess. Yeah, but they're not the ones selling. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's not a Coke made knife, but that happened a lot, right? Oh, so sure, you had yeah. all of your little tchotchke knives in your souvenir shops. It was a big thing to have. Definitely. I remember as a kid, and I'm only you know nearly forty six, but I remember knives in gift shops. Uh, Rocky Mount. I came home with a knife. Oh that. well, sure, yeah, yeah. Along well, with the thimbles and the spoons and the. I mean, uh, up in the Smokies, you you can still buy all of those those kind of things, but they are they're 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 something to commemorate a. Remember, I'm not going to use that word. There, there's something as a souvenir yes. that you're going to take home. Souvenir is a much better word. Souvenir is a much better word because again, it's not a it's not a commemorative piece. Right. But I, I, the novelty knife industry is big. It mm-hmm. always has been. I think there's something tied back to that part of Americana. Sure. Because, and what you'll find is that a lot of those reflect that Americana. Exactly. Th- right. There was this. Uh, there was this notion because knives can be produced relatively cheaply, but mm-hmm. they were something people would use. It's the same thing as when when mouse pads were the thing. Oh yeah. Because yeah. it was always there. So if Coca Cola sold you this knife, right? Then when you used it. Everybody right. got to see an ad for Coca Cola because apparently there was a time in this country where people didn't know what Coca Cola was. Sure, <laughs> sure. So you saw the knife and went, you know what? I need a refreshing beverage. So let's jump into these, and I'm going to do. I'm going to jerk your chain and move you around on this no, stuff. Fine. And here's why: I'm going to start off with the things that are uh, more like what we've just been talking about: souvenir I knives, great, nostalgic yeah. knives, and that kind of stuff. And we can start off with this frost, which is the Coke knife. I actually think that I have one of these at the just, house. Just hit the price point and the, and the stuff on this. This is a little one bladed tchotchke knife. Four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety nine, and uh, you know, three and three seven, three point three seven five inches. Yeah, stainless steel. Just a good little knife. It's a nice little cute knife. I mean, yeah. throw that in a stocking stuffer. What was the price point on that? Four ninety nine. Yeah, throw that in a stocking. You know, that's that, that's something that Coca-Cola fun. Coca-Cola collector in oh, your life who yes, wants will love it. All that memorabilia. This yeah. is perfect. Yep. Yep. So that's one example. Uh, and then we have, you know, this kind of thing. This is a Master Barlow, right? Yes. And this is from the Novelty Knife Company. Uh, and it's got the Don't Tread on Me under acrylic. A good, solid Barlow. It's it's a full-size Barlow. Mm-hmm. Uh, price on this one is four ninety nine as well. Yeah, that's a pretty big knife. It's a real big knife. I mean, knife. I can Again, actually open a, it up and show you. It's a full size Barlow, so it's a it's a, a nice, sturdy it's, knife. It's the granddaddy Barlow. You know, and again, with either one of these, you could use them. Oh yeah, they're perfectly usable knives, oh, yeah. but they also they have that intrinsic value. They have that that bit of Americana with both of them. Right, absolutely. So then let's look at another Barlow. This is a bombshell Barlow. Look at that. That's something that we've produced recently, right? Oh yeah. So I, I know for a fact since uh, I was the one who had to rescue the artwork on these and put these in. Sure. This comes from an old bank poster. Seriously, a calendar poster. I was going to ask a, if you knew the the history yeah, on it. Yeah, from the from the forties. Um, and there were like four different bombshells framed in the piece that we bought at an estate sale, right? And so these end up going inside these Barlows. So there are four different of these, but uh, you know, it's reminiscent of the World War II bombers. At four ninety nine. And there's four in the series. Yeah, yeah. Red you could dress, buy black all of dress. them. You could buy them for twenty bucks. Yep. Put them in a shadow box. If you're if you're a collector of of nostalgic signs and, right. and bombshell paraphernalia. That's a really cool collection. Right. And again, it's that, that taste of Americana. Right. So while we're on the Barlows, let's, let's talk about this. There was a whole series from Remington, which are the Remington Art Barlows. Yes. Um, Remington used to make some amazing posters. And this one's a little it's harder the, to see. In the, the Yukon line. Trouble. Uh-huh. It yeah. is the Yukon Trouble. Uh, these were all big paintings, heavy paintings and that kind of stuff. Uh, put these under clear acrylic. Get the whole set, Remington on the back in the old in the old style. Six ninety nine. Um, yeah. And in some cases for some of these, you can actually buy the full size ten signs in the store as well. Yeah. And, and online. Can, and I know we have in the past, I don't know if we still have them available. We had sold them as full sets. Sure. That end up having that kind of stuff. I want to touch on one more while before we hit to this break, and that is <laughs> the zombie Nick. It is a straight razor. Uh this is Zombie Nick, and it says here on the handle, uh, friends, don't let friends eat oh, friends. I love that. I uh-huh. love it. And I tell you what, we have a whole line of Zombie Nick stuff. Uh-huh. And it sells well, and it's really cool. And with the zombie craze that we're still kind of in, um, it's very, very zombie neat. Zombie Nick right in there. Six ninety nine. Yeah, there's Zombie Nick. Do you know who invented Zombie Nick? 
was you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. About to say, yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> um, I never envisioned it on a straight razor, but... But, you know, if you're in the zombie apocalypse, uh-huh. you still got to shave. Hey, there are some amazing Rough Rider zombie Nick stuff out there. <laughs> there really is. We're headed towards a break right now. got about a minute to do that. Um, this is Guys Talk Knives. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Uh, go on to smkw.com because not only are we the world's largest uh, retail knife store here in, in the Smokies, we are also the largest knife store online. Yes, indeed. What was it, 18,000 products and counting? We're, like we're knocking on 19,000. Ooh, 19,000 products and counting. Flash sales every single day starting at 9 a.m. Yes, indeed. Uh, I saw a Topps knife on there, I think, last week. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Potentially the most active group of people in an email newsletter that mm. I've ever worked with. Nice. Uh, the, we've got 80-some-odd uh, thousand right. active subscribers who open as soon as it gets there and they you know we we did uh paul bunyan day last week i've been here 20 years I, i'm it never ceases to amaze me what our customers uh, yeah how much they love the They're store. tremendous they love it they yep. love the store out there they love the online store they love our facebook page which yep. you should be following us on as well as instagram and twitter because i'm giving away things all the time and speaking of time i'm at eight seconds so i will just say we'll be right back with more guys talk nine This is the elusive mermaid knife aboard the Calypso Jr. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> it's a novelty knife episode That's right. of Guys Talk Knives. Look at this thing. That is. Oh, oh I love it. That well, is. I mean, I'm going to take it back over to camera one, John, because I'm going to show him the action. Right I'm here. about to say, here's the good part about this knife. <laughs> it's crazy, right? <laughs> it really is. What is the name on this? One? She's, she's got so, a name. There's like three or four of these. Yeah, there are. There's several of these. I've got to find it. I'm going to hold it back down here. Hit it on that. Look at that. How can you not see these? I just, it says I don't mermaid. know. Oh, this is <laughs> Patricina? Patricina. Patricina Mermaid Liner Lock. $9.99. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? You got an underwater scene there. You had to put things. links to the whole set of those. So, in case you didn't know, we're talking about novelty knives, knives that are, you know, just novelicious. Does it get any more novelty than that? I don't think so. I don't think so. There and are, again, this is the perfect gift for someone in your life, maybe who even hates mermaids and the whole idea of mermaids, because this would tweak them <laughs> so horribly. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's great from beginning to end. I'm not I, saying this is the greatest night in the world, but the action works. The action works. The and knife I tell you, works. It's, it's pretty. I mean, I'm not going to chance knocking the sea uh, scene off of the blade to do that. That's, no, I mean, that's, it's front yeah. and back. Look at that. Wow. Front and back. Is and that just an only? I uh, assume. I, I, I'm going to guess. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I'm going to guess yeah. that the, that is probably just an onlay that they put Mermaid on top of Mermaid series novelty knives. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Love it. What's the price point on this? Uh, $9.99. Yes. Take home all three. Your, your, That's uh, amazing. Your uncle likes mermaids. You just That's get right. him all three of those. Or doesn't like mermaids. So, the, if you have that person who just hates mermaids, <laughs> that's the knife you're buying them. Oh, because that's, that's funny. I have not met anybody that mermaid that is wigged out by mermaids. No, but if it was a clown, oh, we'd give one to Mark. Yeah, we could scare some people. <laughs> Mark's terrified of clowns. I have some thoughts about mermaids. We'll save those for a different show. Whole different just website. Some, just, just some questions that I have about the whole mermaid <laughs> thing and, and you know just oh. general things that happen with their bodies. I just... I don't understand, but we're going to talk now the second half of this show. And you took the movie Splash as a documentary, more so than a comedy with Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah. Daryl Hannah as a mermaid. How much? This is like two, what, three episodes that we've talked about Daryl Hannah? I guess it is. Yes, we snatched her eye out in the episode before. Yeah, so. Well, that's the the two extremes of her career, isn't it? Eventually, I'm going to get to say this next part. Mermaid, Kill Bill. (laughs) Truth. There you go. Truth. All right, right? sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's totally fine. The rest of the novelty knives we have are shaped like other things. (laughs) <laughs> so yes, they well, are. Yeah. So the others were tchotchkes. The others were souvenirs. These can be souvenirs as well, but they are shaped like different things. Sure. So let's jump into them. Find uh, bullet this knife. little bad boy. That's a uh, novelty cutlery uh, 30 alt six bullet knife. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to open it up. Three ninety nine. Right back down there. But yeah, got a little pen knife. Yep. Inside of a bullet. You have a shooting enthusiast friend. Oh, heck oh. yeah. Oh, this is a perfect little knife. I, I kid you not, I've actually seen this on people's desks and offices where they used it as a letter opener. Oh, yeah. It was just yeah. a thing on their desk. And we have several different sizes of these bullets. You've got a lot of 38 oh, sure. yeah. uh, caliber, and then you've got this bullet. I and mean, these are almost the right size and shape, too, which is 
Kind of cool. They, 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 you would be surprised at the number of people who buy these and leave the store with them. Oh, yeah. You'd be shocked. No, I'm not shocked at all. Um, I, I think they're really cool again for that, for that person shocked, in your life. I'm not shocked. I, it's, uh, it is, it's just a really cool gift. Yeah, and, and I think there's another one we carry, too, that has a keychain attachment to it. it yeah, we do, yes. Let's go bass fishing. <laughs> bass fishing. So this is the largemouth bass novelty knife. Uh-huh. Two inches long, four ninety nine. He is two double sided. I can't even do this. He has double sided, and he's got this little bad boy knife. You know the detail on that. Oh, look at that! Is really rather impressive. Thank you. Did you do that one too? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the The detail on the bass itself is just it's really uh, good looking. I can't say that I sculpted it. I can tell you that I did the line art and did sure, all the sure. drawing for it for this one. So do you do the buffalo as well? Uh, yeah. Well, let's look at the buffalo now. Okay. What Again, same same kind of thing with this one. This is the Novelty Knife Company Buffalo Folder, four ninety nine. Yep. Uh, the bass was four ninety nine as well. Again, there's a lot of detail on that knife, mm-hmm. and they're just really cool, fun, inexpensive gifts. So this is the same three legged. Well, no, it's this four legged buffalo. But yeah. it's just like the one that came off of the buffalo nickel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is the four-legged buffalo from the buffalo nickel. If you find three-legged buffalo nickels, keep them. Keep they're them. worth money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're worth a ton of money. Yeah, they are. So let's, uh, let's go. Boot knife. Boot knife. <sighs> <laughs> this is a rough rider. Give, give the story on this. Uh, well, so a lot of times when we end up designing for rough rider, what ends up happening is somebody finds an antique knife or yeah. something out there, a novelty. Kevin finds one at a state sale or sure. just at a show or whatever, and he brings it in. And and we like to replicate some of these. This is a special little knife. We turned this into a cowboy boot, though I think it was a lady's boot. It uh, was probably right so, thing. yeah. But this thing, if you pull the heel, it opens the blade. Yeah. Let me do that again. You push in the heel. Oi. Close it up. If you pull the heel, it opens the blade. That's kind I, of- I think that may be one of the most interesting novelty pieces that we carry yeah and again it's that idea of americana of of uh-huh. it being that collectible piece and something different uh, we call this the boot scooter um yes it's the boot scooter <laughs> trick knife uh-huh and it's 6.99 yeah and it has a synth stone inlay it's really yeah. nice uh it's just a cute little knife i mean i would throw this in anybody's um oh, stocking yeah it, i mean it, it, again yeah, it's that boot and stocking it's that cute co- that cute that cute that cool that cute little little chotsky it, it's, it's it's really neat and last up. No, no, not last. Oh, we I have forgot two, about that one. Let's, let's go with the little one first. Okay. This one. This is the Rough Rider Miniature Mid Hunter. Look at that thing. It actually folds, guys. It does, and it's yeah. sharp. It is sharp. It, it's bizarre. Let's see if I can stab the paper with it. Oh, I'm going to drag the paper over here. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to do this again. Look at that. It's right. Little baby. I don't know what you would do cut with this knife, but it does actually cut. It is actually sharpened. Yeah. And it does actually I'm about fold. to say, the, the fact that it folds and... Can you hear it? Did you hear it snap? There I just think is. that's amazing. It's a really... It, it is one of my favorite miniature knives that we carry because it looks so good. It looks just like the, the full-size Mid-Hunter. Yeah, you can put that right on your key ring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that one's four ninety nine as well. Yeah, no, it's nice. So what, the most expensive thing on this table right now is... <laughs> What six ninety nine? Yeah, and was no, that nine ninety nine? Nine ninety nine. Yep, the mermaid, Priscina, but Petrosina, Patrosina, Patrosina. Excuse me, Patrosina. One of my mermaid names. That one's nine ninety nine. That is the most expensive piece on here. That's not to be confused with a cousin, Patrocina. She's <laughs> uh, the let's, Tanya Harding. Let's look version. at this one. Okay, and this one, this one, I just think is is fantastic. Andy's going to start wearing this around the store. Look at this um, clip. I mean, look at the clip on that holster. It will go right on your belt. I mean, that's... This is the Rough Rider Classic M1911 pocket pistol. So it looks like a 1911-45. Uh-huh. But it has a knife blade in it. Yeah. There's a lot of detail on that that gun. Thank you. You did that one too? (laughs) There's a lot of detail on that one. It it looks exactly like a 1911-style 45. Um, What does Andy get taxed with? Oh, replicating designs make, of things make this a gun uh this is 7.99 comes uh, with a really a solid little a little sheath for it um the sheath that's just like a holster that's just like a holster 
It was in. It's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. I love it. They should have put like a, a thumb lock on the whole We had that in two colors, but we were so far down on the on the quantity on the other color that I was like, nah, let's not throw it in the show because it'll just be gone by the time they to come around. To once again bring up the point that we sell the mess out sure. of Melody Knives. Sure. There's, something for, there's literally something for everybody you know. People love them. Yeah. People love them. And why Maybe, not? And what's funny is we didn't even dig into potentially the biggest sellers we have, which is all of the, you know, writers of the silver screen. Right. And that kind of, we have to do that on another episode at some yeah. point, but th- we have a whole line of stuff that, that looks a lot like the bombshells and the Remingtons and the, you know, that Barlow series. Right. That's again, it's that, that piece of America. I can tell you that in the last two to three years, I have probably created more than 20 Barlows of different types. Oh yeah. Right. And they sell out. Well, the Barlow, the nice thing with the Barlow is you don't have that second bolster. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a wide enough handle mm-hmm. to, to capture all of that imagery and to really make it stand out. Plus, when you're putting that under that piece of acrylic, it holds up to time. Sure. Sure. It's just a good, it's a good collectible piece. So, <laughs> and it doesn't cost a billion dollars. No. It's fun. If you're looking for something fun, it's fun to just sometimes have things that are ridiculous like a mermaid knife. A mermaid That's going to be on your knife. desk, isn't it? No, this one's not. You're, you're, you're going to have that on your Do you desk, know why you? this one's not? Why? Because I'm giving it away. <gasps> what? Did you hear that? It like clinked right at the amazing. exact right time. <laughs> no, I'm going to give away this mermaid knife because Love it. it's way too much fun. Patrocina is going to a new home. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is Guys Talk Knives. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, um, home of a great new search feature. Oh, love it. Fantastic. Yes. Great new search feature. Search. You can find all these knives within a couple of a couple of three letters. You're, that yeah. search feature is going to start yeah, pulling yeah. up material. So if you type in NOV, you're getting every novelty knife that we carry. Oh, yeah. Plus, we're, that is also a listing from the top as a category. Yes, indeed. Novelty knives. Yep. And so just check all of those out. If you're not following us on Facebook. Why not? I know, right? We give away something every single week. Besides the fact that it's an amazing set of people with great conversation yeah. all the time. Hey, I just want to shout out to Tobias. He comments on every single one of our videos, yes, both places on, on YouTube. If you're not subscribing there, subscribe on YouTube as well. Uh, ring the bell for your notification. But Tobias, thanks for your comments, everything. I think Tom Weigart yeah, yeah. And, uh, comments every week, too. We want to hear from more of you. Talk to us about your favorite novelty knife. Talk to us about... Um, What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen that was a knife? Oh, but that's make a, a good comment, idea. Make a comment because that's how you're going to get entered to win. Patricina. Patricina. Patricina the mermaid. And then you already have your dirty Santa gift for that's Christmas. Right. That's right. That's right. That'd be amazing. You can even censor yours if you need to. <laughs> Piece of tape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blur mine out. Oh, John, can we blur it out for the entire show? <laughs> Guys, and then talk about it at the end. <laughs> This has been another fantastic episode of Guys Talk Knife. We'll catch you next time. I'm going to shave you. No!